Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and party people. And today, we got another good one for you today. Shout out to my man, MTR, Mediocre Tutorial Reviews. Uh, he did a review on a video from this channel before, and I just kind of wanted to do one myself. So I kind of want to give a shout out to my man. Go check out his channel. It's, it's pretty dope. And so without further ado, the title of this video is Successful Men Want Submissive Women. Let's see what the panel has to say about this one. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Elias, and we are the African Millennials, and you are tuning in to a new episode. Woo! Yeah. All right. The gorgeous Jarrell, can you please <laughs> read the topic for today? Ah, I have a feeling we got uh, a good one uh, in this episode. Uh, uh, you look like you're dressed for the park. Look. <laughs> All right. This is a Dear good one. AMs, are successful women arrogant and impossible to be loved? Ooh, Ooh spicy. Uh, right. I like this one. Let me start off with this one. Right. Right. This right. one's going to be You ready, spicy. guys? Here's wow. <laughs> what it is. Here's what it is. I never looked at it that way before. Are successful women arrogant? Um, and that they throw in there impossible to love as well. Arrogant? Woo, that's a spicy one. Let's see. All right, All break right. it down. Y'all ready? We ready. Yes. Best belief. Yes. The uh -huh. answer is yes. The answer is what? The yes. answer is yes, but with reason. Mm -hmm. Women have to go through a lot to be successful. It's a lot harder for women um, to be in like a successful position. Which you know makes sense. It's perfect. They go. They go through a lot of conditions that hold them back. Wait, wait. Before you, before you get jumpy. She ready. She ready. She ready. <laughs> There's a level of arrogance that comes with it because of how hard they work to get to that position. Now their arrogance may hold them back from finding, you know, someone of equal or someone to love them. And you know, it's it's like a lot of dudes don't want to be as weak as it sounds. A lot of dudes don't want to be with a woman who's like more successful. Than so that. you put the word in there for us, which is weak. So I, I'm gonna let her elaborate on that weak part. But I would say that most successful people do have an era of arrogance about them. Just a little, even just a little bit. Uh, most people who are successful have to be a certain way you can't be a sweetheart all the time you have to be about your business so yeah there's a certain level of arrogance but i would say on both sides yes i did yeah are you saying that men are are weak and they I can't didn't, handle didn't that. Whoa, whoa, that, right? whoa see already with the generalizations no he said some men and right away she she she, she didn't hear some <laughs> You know, Rasputia heard all men. So, uh, come on, girl. Come on. Wait, I didn't even say the word. I didn't even say the word. I said you strong. See, I heard weak. Y'all heard that's y'all fault. That's see, uh, this is this is exactly what we're talking about. So this you is switching my words. Right. All right. Let me out. let me tell you what the problem. Let me tell you what the problem is. When you throw a word in, you're changing the meaning of what I'm really trying to say. I'm trying to say that. They, they, that's how they feel. That's not the situation. That's not the reality. But why but does she have to be arrogant? Yeah, no, I, I, should be, be, wait, wait, I should be asking a woman why right? she has to be arrogant. No, 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 I should be asking no, a woman. I'm asking I'm you because uh -huh. if there's a Oprah Winfrey. Yes. Would you consider her arrogant? I've never met her. I don't know. Why can't so this is the thing. This is the thing. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you yes. the difference. This is the the difference between Oprah Winfrey and the millions of other successful okay, take women. Okay, average All right? successful woman. Then. An average su success successful. Absolutely. And this is the thing. You you got okay. Who? <laughs> Go ahead. Oprah Winfrey has a certain era of arrogance about her too. Yes, she does. Y'all <laughs> <Okay. laughs> successful women ha are socialized to date up. So you guys want a man who will be the head of the household, who will be the breadwinner, uh, who will still be that male dominant figure while you guys also have that same status. The thing is 90%, 99% of successful men don't want to deal with other successful, intelligent women. Why? And that's arrogant. Arrogant. No, so, no, my issue is with the word true. arrogant. Okay, but I'm, so we're, saying, we're also saying why hmm. y'all are single. Jared, you think that's true? Who, what do you mean y'all are single? Just, hold up, check I mean, out. A lot of successful women are in amazing relationships with strong men who aren't so 
have don't have such a big a big security. ego security. that they can handle be, this, a woman. This wouldn't be an issue then. This wouldn't topic. be a topic a, if that was a, the case. A woman making more money than him. That's like, not the case. And I'm not saying why that. Why does she have to be arrogant but, though? Because I it's, a, it's a, I think it's a certain air. It's a certain air that you guys give off. It's a it's an aggressive. You know, aggressive? I had to. It's very aggressive. I had to work to get to get here. So like. I feel like women, if you Wouldn't want... Wouldn't you want to do that anyway for any woman to work to uh, to, to get her love? I think I think I would. But what men His, naturally... Look, men say they want an intelligent woman. They say that. Right. Okay. But in all actuality and they reality, they don't. No, I believe whoa, that whoa, men whoa, whoa. think that they want... I'm going to stop right there. I do want an intelligent woman. You know, I'm, I'm going to put it up on the screen here. This is exactly what most men will want. Qualities of a wife, nurturing, sensitive, sweet, supportive, gentle, warm, passive, cooperative, expressive. So the woman that was talking at first, the one on the far left, um, she is expressive. There's nothing wrong with being expressive, asking questions, modest, uh, have humility, empathy, affection, tenderness, kind, devoted, helpful, and understanding. So... Um, as we go through the video, kind of look at the women, the way that they're talking, and and see how many of these qualities they possess as we continue on. But yes, I do want a woman who is intelligent. Of course you do. You don't want a dummy. Who wants a dummy? That would be, that's, no. A strong, intelligent woman until it's really put in front of them. When it's put in front of them, that the whole thing changes. It's like, oof. You know, this ain't what I'm used to, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it, it's, an, it's an unfortunate thing because, you know, strong women are amazing. You know, I, I know my mom to be a strong woman. So uh, I would think that's what I want. But, you know, most men, when it's put in front of them, they want to keep that status. And that is unfortunate. Wow. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. I said that means me. The okay. truth comes out. The truth comes out. out. Oh, there is an actual, out. There's oh, actual oh. research with you saying that exactly. unfortunately men wow. want a certain outlook of a woman but then internally it's totally different Mesh. 105 men were researched by researcher laura oh, park okay, they good. found they found that when they took an intelligent test the researcher said there's a woman down the hallway that beat you in that intelligent test the majority of those 105 men once mm -hmm. they they um heard that they'd rather want the woman that didn't beat them in so, that so intelligent, so let me yeah, as, right. as, as, as a romantic See, partner, that's what we would and want. That is, want. We're that not speaking about us personally. We're talking. I'm talking about yeah, you know. That's, that's, yeah. that's the issue. Sure. That's the issue. Sure. Sure. I mean, women then. I, think that, I don't think the issue is the women then. Right. That's the my issue is still. Why is she arrogant? You just said you want. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think that the issue here is probably most likely that men are just the arrogant ones who can't deal mm -hmm. with women who are ego. successful. I agree I with that. Because the thing is that for a woman, a woman, this is the thing no. about women. Women, hmm. we, because if a woman who is, let's say, intelli more intelligent, let's say, than a specific man, would understand how a man who's very egotistic would act. So she would understand that there's certain things that I can't say to this mm. guy because I'm gonna hurt his feelings. Yeah. Well, we're not ready. Not like we're very, that like way. we're very perceptive we of that, on yeah. show and we're always the walking on them. Yeah, for yeah. yeah. But Whoa. when it comes around the other way, it's, it's like nah, she's too nah. arrogant. She nah. thinks she's better than I think me. I think God's on yeah, I, I don't think that's the case at all. I don't think most women are walking on eggshells. Not the, not today. Not in these days. Um, but there are certain things that you shouldn't say. You know, a lot of people learn in therapy. If you've been to therapist, therapy before and you had a therapist, you'll know that there are three questions that you should ask yourself. Does this need to be said? That's the first thing you should, you should ask yourself. Does this need to be said by me? That's number two. And number three, does this need to be said right now? And there are a lot of times where whatever you want to say doesn't always need to be said. Women are huge, really big on communicating. And there are certain times, there are certain things that should not be communicated. And that shouldn't be a problem because you shouldn't say everything that comes to mind. I like, listen, no. absolutely. We, we listen, have, absolutely. I like, I, like to, I like to find a common ground. And I, I listen, I've dated women with a certain status, larger than mine. So it's to my understanding that having these conversations, like they would state, well, listen, 
when I got to this certain place, I was humble. I gave guys chances. I gave the hood guy with no ambition chance. Settle. I gave this guy a chance. I, 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 hold on, it's not settling. Hold, hold on. So it's, it's not settling. If you gave the hood guy a shot, most women who are there young, they choose a, a bad boy, hood guy, you know, Pookie and Ray Ray. We use those terms all the time, right? And that wasn't settling. You know, you're looking for a specific type of man, and I'm not hating on that, but you get what you pay for. So it's not settling when you when you go for a hood kind of guy. That she tries true. to be <laughs> humble in her approach. And so now it's like, well, no, I want to get what I deserve. So I understand that with women. I just don't think that you should generalize everyone in the same category as to someone who <laughs> is a particular I, 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 I think really, the difference between arrogance and confidence, though, like, why, no, is, it that, why is, is it that difference. a woman who is successful, powerful, is confident in herself and her ability is seen as arrogant? She's, because let's just be honest, because we look that way, that the because, masculine. Because she's a woman. Yeah, yeah. But you, you look down on the way that are masculine. No, 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 no. Successful women look down on men that have a lower status and lower lower class. Right. All right, so when you say it's true. I disagree, though. No, why? I disagree. somebody who has No, because, you know, because how about that man I can't is trying. I can't. So I think the large part of the difference, and ladies, if you're listening, the difference between arrogance and confidence is if you're confident, you're not throwing that in someone's face. Arrogance is you're acting like you're better than someone. And moreover, you're stating that you're better than that person. That that comes off as arrogant. But if you're sweet, kind, and considerate, but you carry yourself a certain way with a certain confidence, there's nothing wrong with that. Most men will be attracted to that. They will be attracted to your confidence if you are still all of these qualities on the screen here. But if you are missing or lacking a lot of these qualities that men are looking for, then yes, you will be seen as arrogant. How about if that man is trying? Well, so you're saying, wait, wait, you're saying that's settling to go down to like that's what I feel like most successful so date someone with a lower date somebody. So, this is what yeah, women successful. So this is what successful. There's definitely a difference between arrogance and confidence. I mean, I think there's a total misconception that women that make it to a certain place in their lives that are successful, that have everything that they want and need, are arrogant. And I don't think that's the case. I think they're confident, but just because they're women, they're seen as arrogant. And I think there's a not total true, double standard. In not that. true. It's not right. Well, women need to get in their head. Oh, absolutely, like that. absolutely. Like that. We're gonna go, right. we're gonna we're gonna get okay. down okay. dirty, right? What okay. women need to get in their head is dating a man with lower status, a lower class, is not settling. Settling is is putting yourself second eventually essentially that, that putting, is yourself, putting yourself that is second. not because yes, you're put, you're put, you're, yes, you're dating a man who sees you as first who supports you as as no, a successful woman okay. Listen, this is, if, go ahead. can go i finish ahead. Mm -hmm. no. so if you if you're dating if you're dating a, a man who does not see you first that is essentially putting yourself second if you date a man who has a lower class who doesn't? Who might not be as successful as you, but always sees your you as the number one black queen? Then that's not settling. You understand? There, there's the problem. There is that when we start talking about status and women, like what these four women don't understand, and I think most most women don't understand, is that your status doesn't matter to men. And to them, their status matters. Why? Because men's status matter to them. So they think it works the other way. Like their status should matter to us. And it doesn't. And it never did. Like if she's a CEO or there's, there's the same exact woman. One's a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And the other one is a cashier at, at McDonald's. Let's say the one that's the CEO, she's arrogant, she's she's overweight, and she's got a bad attitude. Uh, but the other one that's a cashier at McDonald's, you know, she looks like a Victoria's Secrets model, right? And she's got a great attitude. The guy's going to choose her 100% of the time. Not Your status has no bearing on, on our choosing you. It doesn't at all. And that's what they fail to realize. Of but course, there's not, always exceptions not, to the yeah, rules, but as a generalized that. statement, all of us want to do better in our lives. You okay. have kids, Granted. you want your kids to do better in yes. life, yep. okay? And some of the times, yes, that's going to mean 
trying to um, uplift yourself, uplift your economic uh, situation, your yeah. social <laughs> okay. economic situation. I think and what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? If you can't find it, don't, 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 don't disrespect the men that don't I'm want a successful woman. Anyone. That's arrogant. But don't right disrespect there. me and call me names because I want better. I think that a lot of men, I think that a lot of men, that this is why I'm on kind of the other side of what you know, um, the majority of men think. Men, a lot of men need to get in their head that, I mean, yo, brother, just because a woman Cody. is more successful than you, that should, should be, be a that turn is. on right. the equal playing exactly. field. I'm the type of I'm the type of man when I get a wife, right. I'm going to be taken if she has, um, you know, a one week business trip that she has to go to, and. I somehow have the time to take care of the kids, cook right. for the kids. I'm going to do what is, you know, um, uh, stereotypically what, you know, the wife would do cooking, the taking care of the You're kids. I her. don't care. I don't but care. You know, but I find a woman <laughs> being able to take care of me and showing that love. Wait a minute. Because a woman Cody. is more successful than you. That should I'm be the turn on right. Absolutely. the equal. Exactly. I'm the type of I'm the type of so man when I get the one on the end was kind of making I'm faces. Taken, if she has um you know a one week business trip that she has to go to and I somehow have the time to take care of the kids, cook right. for the kids, I'm going to do what is you know um uh stereotypically what you know the wife would do cooking, the taking care of the You're kids. I her. don't care. I don't but care. Yeah. So look at look at the girl on the end, the light skinned one on the far right. Look. Look at her facial expression right there. She, she's not agreeing. I don't think she's, she's vibing with that. Find a woman being able to take care of me and showing that love to me, extremely sexy. And it's, uh, you know, something that I, you know, I, I want in a woman, but then I want to do the same for her. And my thing is in with any relationship, it should be level playing field, 50-50. What I'm going to do for you, you're going to do for me because I love you. And I'm going to show that love through all the things. That... It's it's never 50-50, bro. That's the problem. The playing field is never even. The amount of love that, that one person shows another is never, never equal. Somebody always loves somebody more than the other one. Someone, one person always does more than the other one. One person is always more successful than the other. One person is it looks better than the other, is more fit than the other, has a better attitude than the other. It's never an even playing field in relationships. Each person should give 100% into that relationship, 100% of who they are into that relationship. But it's never going to be 50-50 equal. You'll never find it. Someone's always going to give more than the other one. Someone's always going to do more than the other one. Someone's always going to earn more than the other one. There's, it's never going to be 50-50. It never has been. Uh, like Chris Rock said, you're in a band. Somebody's playing the drums. Somebody's playing the guitar. Sometimes the song comes on, and I'm just expanding on his analogy. Sometimes the song comes on where I, I get to play a drum solo. I got to put in more work during this song. Sometimes there's a guitar solo. Sometimes she got to put in more work during this during this song. That's how it works sometimes. Everybody has to play their part in a band. For you, that's just how I feel. That type do you, of man. But do you understand how much love that your wife would give you and appreciate you? The fact, like, you would be the happiest man ever. Happy wife. Right. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. Not happy wife, happy life. That And, and women, you got to get out of that, that mindset now. That doesn't exist. Happy wife, happy life does not exist. It's not a thing. Happy spouse, happy house. There's no such thing as happy wife, happy life, because that's narcissistic behavior. That's narcissistic thinking. That's selfish. So women who walk around saying happy wife, happy life, you're selfish and you're a narcissist. It's all about you. No, it's not all about you. It's all about us. Yeah, no, I talked to my mom specifically about this. Weirdly, within the African culture, they still are in that stereotypical, like, the so woman is the cl woman. cleans, the woman the, yeah. you know, takes care of her. Cody, cannot, Cody, I what? You know, they were basically still on that stereotypical level that, mm -hmm. Cody, you're supposed to be the provider of the household. Specifically, right. my mom, I love them to death. They are about equal rights, uh, you know, within that, but they're still in that 
ancient kind of you should you know, be the provider yes but i'm like mom dad if my wife is making more money than me so what you're in a home it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a team it's a team it doesn't matter it's a team and, 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 and I'm not saying that there aren't any families that work this way, but typically, and when I say typically, if we throw a percentage out there, I'm going to say 90% of women would throw it in their man's face that she makes more money than him and she would look down on him. Most women don't want a guy who makes less than her. We've seen this a thousand times in videos across the world on, on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Women don't want a man who makes less than them. They want a man who makes just as much as she does, if not more. So, yeah, you may find a woman who makes more than you, but it it won't end up well. It won't end well. The traditional feminists, I, be, I do believe in gender roles. I do believe that there are certain things that men and women are individually good at doing. But True. in today's society, in the... Uh, efforts of being equal. I do think that those roles can become intertwined and that women can sometimes be the providers and that men can sometimes be the homemakers and yeah, that yeah. we and live here in a society that's right. that's and we, can, in a we, we can intertwine that. But mm -hmm. the mentality where it's like, oh, and my friend just got married and I nearly threw up in my mouth when she told me that, oh, I have to ask my husband because he's the head of my household. I was like, Ooh. oh, that's like, that. And what's wrong with that? And what's wrong with that? If that's how she wants her life to be, that's how she, she's traditional in that way. Her and her husband have agreed to this. Who cares what you think? Who cares what you think? I'm going to say it one more time. Who gives a damn what you think? That's her life. That's your girlfriend's life. She's happy. She's healthy. Their relationship is healthy. Who cares if she don't run her household the way you want to? <sighs> Narcissism, boy, I swear. That, that's that's the way they were brought up. Exactly. 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 Wait, 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 no, 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 most, most, most married couples don't do nothing. I mean, they don't do anything without communicating with each other. That's okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yes, equal. yes. And I know, it's I've equal. seen it. I've seen it. I'm, I'm coming to you for listen, permission. Listen, listen. I know I'm not coming lot. to you for, no. no. So wait, 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 wait. wait. We okay. can, Y'all missing something. Y'all missing. Y'all missing something. Y'all miss a lot of things. Y'all miscommunicate a lot of things men do. Oh, wait, 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 things. wait, wait, relax, chill. Y'all, y'all miscommunicate, <laughs> miscommunicate a lot of things men do for ego, masculinity, misogynist, sometimes that's not where it's coming from. If I say to my wife, listen, before you do this, let me know. But Tell what me, about wait, you when you wait, want wait, to do something? I, it, it's a vice versa thing. Right, if I say, let me know. Tell me. Don't do this without consulting me. That's I'm fine. Being, I'm being dead ass. I'm as not, it's, it's not people. about a control. Yes. And it's as vice as versa. People. But what, what she's saying is that the wife has to ask permission from the husband. So what, out. What, it's vice versa right. too. It's but, probably vice versa so too. You probably can't do shit without. If he's the bread. If he's the bread. But you don't know. See, that's what There's nothing wrong with, you know, asking for permission. Like when people hear the word permission, they think of it as like a negative enslavement or like yeah it's not a slavery thing taking it's over. not it's just simple like it's simple like yo listen i'm consulting my husband before i'm doing something just like right it's 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 you know you should consult one another it's it's just common sense it's common courtesy in a relationship to communicate that with someone like i'm not just going to pull ten thousand dollars out of the bank and go spend it on whatever i want to because it's my money i made it of course, I should have to communicate that to my wife and she should communicate to me. Hey, honey, I'm going to be going here after work. You can't just go and do what the hell you want to. That's not a relationship. That's not a marriage. And the one, the light skinned woman, she got a hard time finding a man with that kind of that kind of energy. It's vice versa. A lot of dudes like my cousin, he would he would say, all right, let me talk to my wife first before I make this move. Right. There's nothing right. wrong with that at all. It's just that. I guess, man, we have a negative, um, a negative stamp on us that we're always trying to be controlling or we're always, sometimes, a lot of times it may not even be that. It's just, listen, I don't want you 
to we're married. It's a teamwork. We're joint. Right. Everything is joint. Right. Us. I don't want you to do certain things. Right. Without telling, and I'm gonna stand by that. Vice versa. I'm not gonna do certain things without telling my wife. Exactly. That's just how I see it. What do y'all ladies think about the the, submi the submissive wife? Then what do you feel about them? Well, yeah. I think as, I, as yeah. see. The, the one in the on the far right again, already shaking her head. No, no, no. It's going to be rough, girl. It's going to be rough. Strong, independent woman. My mom came to this country alone, and she she came here to have a better opportunity and for her kids. And, and it would be bad if I ended up doing the same thing that they do back home, being yeah. submissive. Yeah. All my aunties got married at 16, wow. and they're still wow. with their men. Yeah. That That's the only thing that they know. So are you saying... See, there it is. Her <laughs> her relatives got married at 16, and they're still with their spouses today. That's the goal. That's it right there, ladies. That's supposed to be the goal. You find, you find your mate, and you, you marry, and you stay with them for life. That should be the goal right there. That's it. And she's looking at that like it's a negative thing, like it's a bad thing. That that holds women back. That holds being that that absolutely, I mean, absolutely. So. She's from the understanding, right. excuse me. And being submissive doesn't hold women back. That's not what that is. It, being submissive doesn't hold women back. Now, if you're an abusive person, whether you're submissive or not, he's going to be abusive. But if you're with a good guy, whether you're submissive or not, he's going to be a good guy. That it doesn't play into it. it. You guys have just the wrong way of thinking. From understanding, what do they like in men? What do they like in life? What do they the, uh, limiting their education levels? Limiting all this stuff. Like you have to, you have to be home. Yes, don't get me I wrong. I cook. I clean. I'll let you out. All that stuff. Amen. No problem. <laughs> I think but, submission but is submission. See, just because you're submissive doesn't mean you can't get an education. Just because you're submissive doesn't mean you can't work or have a career. Just because you're submissive doesn't mean you're a doormat. It doesn't mean that, ladies. That's never what it's meant. Well, that's that's not the way. That's not the way it's done. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me again on Time Out. Uh, tune back in next time. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell now. And we'll keep you notified of all of our up and coming videos. This is your boy Lee. We'll talk to you in the next one. Deuces.